Good morning, friends. Once again, Yalalita ma'am is back with another topic, a very colorful topic. Okay, from the concept of atomic structure, that is about different types of spectra. Already I have started electromagnetic spectrum and in that video we have discussed already about uh, different types of spectra based on the source. Okay now. So here in today's video we are going to discuss about the types of spectra based on uh, the different colors that are being exhibited by different types of elements. Okay. So already uh, in the previous video, I have discussed about emission and absorption spectrum. Okay, so let us let uh, once recall what is emission and absorption spectrum. Okay, once let us recall emission spectrum. So emission spectrum. Okay, in this uh, again uh, types we are going to learn. Even absorption spectrum types we are going to learn. Right. So here emission spectrum is obtained when any source of light is heated. Okay, then electrons gets excited from lower energy state to higher energy state. Okay, now like this energy levels will be there. Okay, so from any of the lower energy state, ground state, from ground state, if electrons gets excited on heating, okay, they jump to higher energy levels. But in this higher energy levels, electrons are unstable. Okay, now this is an unstable state. Okay, they are very stable in their own energy state. That is in their ground state. But because of heating, they get excited to higher energy levels. And because of excitation, okay, they move to higher energy orbits. Okay, so where they are highly unstable. Okay, so because of their unstability, they want to come up come back to their original position okay while coming back to their original state they release some of the energy in the form of radiation okay now they release some of the energy in the form of radiation okay that radiation can be in the form of either light or heat that radiated energy can be either in the form of light or heat Okay, so in that way, emission spectrum is formed by the heated source of light. Okay, so this we have learned in the previous video. And absorption spectrum can be uh, obtained when any transmitted light, okay now, when any white light is made to pass through a prism and the transmitted light is observed through spectrometer, then the spectrum which is so obtained, you call it as what? Absorption spectrum. Okay. In case of emission spectrum, you will find bright lines on dark background and in case of absorption spectrum, you will find dark patches because of absorption, wherever, whichever the wavelength of light is being absorbed, in place of that absorbed wavelength of light, you will find dark patches. Okay, so dark patches in bright background. Okay, that you will be observing in case of absorption spectrum and bright lines on dark background you will observe in case of emission spectrum children don't get confused be very clear with the concepts okay if you want pause the video note down what teacher is saying and uh, again continue with the video right so this is what we have learned in case of uh, types of spectra emission and absorption further this emission and absorption spectra are further classified into two types line spectrum and band spectrum okay so we are going to discuss about that line and band spectra in today's video okay further classification of emission and absorption spectrum is what line spectrum and band spectrum emission spectrum is further classified into two types line spectrum and band spectrum even the absorption spectrum also absorption line spectrum and absorption band spectrum two types spectra are again divided into two types okay line and band even for the case of absorption also okay 
so let us discuss about emission line spectrum and then emission band spectrum then we go for absorption line spectrum absorption band spectrum so four types of spectra we are going to learn in this video right so let us keep a side heading emission line spectrum okay now let us keep the side heading emission line spectrum emission line spectrum okay so what is emission line spectrum very important topic this is very interesting and very important topic so emission line spectrum line spectrum is the one which is formed by uh, atoms when the heated source is in atomic state please understand carefully when the heated source emission spectrum is obtained by heating a source of light okay now whenever any substance is heated then only we get emission spectrum when the heated source when uh, the heated source is in atomic state source is in atomic state okay now is in atomic state then we get line spectrum then we get line spectrum please remember like this when the heated source is in atomic state this is very important for us okay now whatever the substance that is being heated whatever the spectrum that is being obtained okay the heated source if it is in atomic state you call it as at line spectrum and even you can even also call it as atomic spectrum also atomic spectrum means line spectrum only okay now very important points we are discussing about line spectrum okay now emission line spectrum is obtained when the heated source of light is in atomic state this is your first and foremost point okay now and next thing is no two elements emit same kind of spectral lines no two elements no two elements emit same kind of spectral lines please understand this points carefully no two elements no two elements can emit no two elements can emit same kind of spectral lines same kind of spectral lines okay now so spectral lines are obtained based on the type of element which is being heated please remember that point carefully okay if you are going to heat uh, the heated source is if it is going to be sodium you will be getting one type of lines if the heated element is going to be potassium you will be getting another type of lines okay so discrete lines with different wavelengths in different wavelengths regions we have learned about vibgr okay now that is the only visible region for us okay so one one element is going to give one one colored lines in one one particular visible region with a different wavelengths okay now every uh, source every atom uh, will give different lines in specified wavelength region only okay now please understand the point carefully no two elements can have same ca same kind of wavelength okay sodium will give uh, two lines two bright lines in yellow region okay whereas another element gives in different region so that's why no two elements can emit same kind of spectral lines please remember that point okay now then elements can be identified by line spectrum also this is also one very important point elements can be identified elements can be identified by line spectrum okay now elements can be identified by line spectrum by seeing the different lines in particular so and so region fixed it is fixed for each and every element it is fixed okay now i'll tell you which uh, element will be giving which colored light in which region of vibgr okay please understand the points carefully elements can be identified by line spectrum yes by seeing that uh, line spectrum which element is heated okay that can be identified very easily okay now so elements can be identified by what line spectrum okay now next several colors of lights can be emitted by each element several colors of lights 
several colors of lights can be emitted by each element several colors of light can be emitted by each element several colors of light can be emitted by each element please understand these points carefully different elements are going to give you different flame colors also okay na different elements will gives you different flame colors okay na so different flames of different uh, elements is also because of the line spectrum okay na because of uh, the region that is being observed as illuminated observed as a bright region okay uh, in the whole vidyar range of wavelengths okay so please understand the point carefully several colors of light can be emitted by each each element one one element is going to give you one one color okay that is very important point regarding line spectrum so flame colors of several salts are due to color spectrum of those salts only flame colors of different salts please write that point also flame colors of different salts is due to is due to spectrum only flame colors important point this is also flame colors okay now flame colors of several salts okay now flame colors of several salts is due to different atomic spectra only flame colors of several salts is due to what is due to is due to the atomic spectra only due to the color spectrum of that salts due to the color spectrum of that salts is due to the color spectrum of that salts please understand these points carefully flame colors of several salts okay let us uh, i understand these points see i i just said elements can be identified by line spectrum okay so flame colors will gives you the identification of that element okay uh, in your flame test also in your uh, intermediate or uh, in your class 12th uh, you will be doing practical work okay so they will ask you to do the flame test okay they will give you one salt the salt may be white in color but observing the color of the flame you have to identify which salt it is okay that is what uh, the spectrum importance of spectrum okay now line spectrum right flame colors different flame colors will gives you different idea about what okay now it gives you different ideas about uh, different colors of salts okay so you have uh, vibgior colors what is the visible region for us that is vibgior okay now vibgior vibgior is the only visible region okay violet indigo blue green yellow orange red okay so which uh, Uh, salts are going to gives you these colored flames okay we learn one or two examples okay so suppose violet flame violet flame okay violet flame is there so for that violet flame metal salts of uh, potassium metal salts of metal salts of potassium okay metal salts of potassium uh like uh, kcl okay kcl you know kcl potassium chloride metal salts of potassium like potassium chloride okay and uh, potassium uh, sulfate can gives you violet colored flame k2so4 okay metal salts of potassium can gives you what violet colored flame and even uh, rubidium also rubidium chloride because both are of same Uh, same family members of course but natures may be different of course rubidium chloride okay now even for rubidium also will gives you violet colored flame okay rubidium chloride rubidium sulfate such kind of salts potassium and rubidium rubidium will gives you violet colored flame that means here the salts are giving flame color that means the spectrum observed will be violet region violet region will be shown illuminated in the vibgior region among the vibgior regions okay the remaining colors may not be observed so clearly but when you take these salts and heat them okay only violet region 
appears to be illuminated that's why the flame color is what violet okay now can you please uh, able to understand please understand the points carefully okay violet colored flame you can see that even in the pictures also okay now you can see that in the pictures which i'm keeping in the middle right next if you go for indigo 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 flame okay indigo is uh, like a violet colored flame only okay now indigo is also like a violet colored flame only flame only also uh, like a deep deep uh, what we call deep violet okay so this can be obtained from metal salts of indium salts of indium for this um, we don't have um, much salts existing with indium indium is the color which is generally neglected because because it is also like violet only okay even in the vibgr colors of rainbow also indigo is not uh, uh, clearly seen of course it is present but it is not clearly seen okay salts of indium will gives you indigo color that's why indigo the color also named as indigo okay and next if you go for blue blue colored flame can be obtained by so many elements please remember vibg or order i am going okay now vibg or order i am going yes now blue color color of the flame is blue which salts are going to give blue flame okay now there are many salts blue flame okay which we already know first and foremost thing is uh, copper copper salts okay now salts of copper okay now please remember salts of copper salts of uh, germanium see see here colors are also there copper salts uh, mostly they will give you what bluish green flame bluish green okay you can see in the pictures right copper salts will gives you bluish green flame and then salts of germanium will gives you pale blue germanium salts germanium salts will gives you pale blue color flame pale blue color flame okay germanium salts you can see in the pictures which i am keeping in the middle phosphorus and tantalum okay phosphorus will gives you pale bluish green phosphorus pale bluish green okay now bluish green right pale bluish green and next tantalum please remember these are the flame colors okay means that particular spectra is observed with that particular color given by the flame of that particular salts okay so salts of tantalum okay also gives you blue flame blue flame okay now salts of tantalum will gives you blue flame okay then after blue next comes green flame green flame okay green flame so green flame is given by boron salts you might have seen boric acid okay now salts of boron salts of boron boric acid you might have seen okay boric acid gives you green color flame very very important very nice flame by seeing that definitely we'll enjoy okay so green flame of what boric acid okay then barium and antimony also gives you pale green colored pale green colored or apple green colored barium salts okay gives you what apple green apple green flame okay and uh, what we call barium please remember barium barium chloride barium sulfate all of them will gives you uh, apple green colored uh, apple green colored flame okay and uh, even antimony also antimony also gives you pale green colored flame okay now antimony salts salts of antimony gives you pale green colored flame okay so that means that particular green region is illuminated in the vibgr region which is visible to our eyes the green region gets illuminated with the salts of these substances boron barium all this please understand carefully 
okay then we'll go for yellow yellow flame i write here you can see right yellow flame yellow flame okay now salts which gives you yellow flame okay the best example for this is sodium salts you know sodium chloride okay intense yellow okay please remember intense yellow colored intense yellow colored lines you will observe even for these also uh, for uh, boric acid if you observe through spectrometer you will find green green lines green region gets illuminated bright lines you will observe with this particular salts if they are heated please understand the points carefully what i am telling emission line spectrum okay whatever are the substances that are being heated the color of the flame and when observed through spectrometer will gives you particular lines okay now particular lines bright lines in the dark background they will give okay so here yellow flame sodium sodium metal if it is being heated okay intense yellow lines okay intense yellow lines in the yellow region means yellow region gets illuminated in the vibgr region yellow region gets illuminated intense lines and here you will be getting question like this the intense lines are observed in the wavelength range of 5890 to 5890 angstroms you will get one line one bright line you will get two bright lines you will get very bright lines intense yellow lines okay at 5890 angstroms you will get one line and 5896 angstroms you will get one more line okay now so sodium these all are in what atomic state when they are in atomic state they will gives you this color of flame okay when they are in atomic state line spectrum we are speaking about what line spectrum line spectrum is obtained only when the substance heated is in atomic state please remember right yellow flame is observed by uh, is observed by sodium okay mainly by sodium and uh, other substances are manganese and uh, cerium also manganese cerium and molybdenum also manganese manganese cerium and molybdenum manganese cerium and molybdenum also gives yellow lines only yellow flames also gives yellow flame okay so this is about yellow flames okay then we go for orange i'm going to rub the board please remember orange can be obtained by ferric and ferrous salts okay now orange flame orange flame can be obtained by orange flame can be obtained by ferrous ferra ferrous and ferric salts okay now any ferrous and ferric salts are going to gives you orange flame and along with that calcium salts also calcium salts okay now calcium salts uh, brownish um, orange flame you will be getting brownish orange flame brownish orange flame can be obtained okay brownish orange flame can be obtained by calcium salts okay calcium salts okay please remember and then we go for the last one red the very important one <laughs> red flame crimson red okay na red flame can be obtained by uh, lithium strontium rubidium okay lithium lithium salts salts of lithium salts of lithium strontium okay salts of lithium strontium and um, even rubidium okay rubidium will gives you uh, what we call crimson red please remember this point also crimson red flame okay crimson red flame you can see in the picture right crimson red flame okay and some of the cadmium and calcium salts will gives you brick red salts of calcium and cadmium 
calcium cadmium okay gives you brick red flame brick red okay salts of calcium and cadmium gives you brick red flame so this is uh, something about different regions that are being illuminated by different substances when they are heated in atomic state okay with your wise i just gave you some examples okay you have seen in the pictures also okay so this is all about what line spectrum emission line spectrum okay now we'll go for emission band spectrum okay now emission band spectrum so band spectrum is the one which is obtained when the substance which is heated is in molecular state please understand carefully second type of spectrum is what emission band spectrum emission band spectrum right emission band spectrum so this can be obtained band spectrum can be obtained okay when when the substance heated is in molecular state when the substance heated is in molecular state okay is in molecular state okay when the substance heated is in molecular state okay so what is the example for this emission band spectrum okay for emission band spectrum carbon arc lamps okay na carbon arc lamps carbon arc okay with metal salts in their core with metal salts carbon arc example for this is what carbon arc with metal salts in the middle metal salts will be kept and the carbon arc lamps they will prepare okay that also you can see in the picture right so carbon arc with metal salts in their core with metal salts in their core okay you are heating that so in that with that intense heat it is going to produce certain uh, what we call uh, band spectrum means what uh, instead of uh, bright lines uh, you will observe bright bands okay because the substance heated is in molecular state okay na bands you will observe okay so that you call it as what emission band spectrum right next we go for absorption line and absorption band spectrum these two if you finish our video will be finished okay so next is what third one is absorption line spectrum absorption line spectrum here we we need not to have any heated source of light isn't it or not so for this uh, uh, you can take the example of uh, any source already lighted source you take even you can take the uh, example of sunlight okay now sunlight if you take okay absorption means what uh, you will find whatever the wavelength of lights that are being absorbed okay you will be getting absorption line spectrum okay so for this uh, the best example for absorption line spectrum is sunlight sunlight is uh, made up of what several several gases you will be finding in them okay several gases like hydrogen helium okay so many gases surrounded by uh, gaseous vapors cool gaseous vapors okay this you can also call it as ionized state in other words you can also call it as plasma state ionized gaseous state okay so several gases um are heated up radiated several gases are radiated or in otherwise ionized they are in ionized condition okay they are in ionized condition what we call ionized okay so several gases are going to gives you in their atomic state are going to gives you a kind of spectrum in the spectrometer okay several gases like what gases like hydrogen helium okay hydrogen is there helium is there so sunlight is a rich source of these two gases okay when they are in atomic state and they are being heated up and gets radiated 
द स्पेक्ट्रम विच इज सो ऑप्टेन्ड यू कॉल इट एज एब्जॉर्बशन लाइन स्पेक्ट्रम ओके ना एब्जॉर्बशन लाइन स्पेक्ट्रम ओके सो दिस इज द सनलाइट इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल फॉर वॉट एब्जॉर्बशन लाइन स्पेक्ट्रम प्लीज टेक डाउन दिस वन एब्जॉर्बशन लाइन स्पेक्ट्रम ओके एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो हैव a kind of uh, example red glass absorbs all colors except red okay see here uh, one uh, question is being given i am i've seen that in the textbook also it is there red glass okay if you see anything uh, through red glass the remaining all other colors uh, okay uh, it seems them uh, it's it appears as if they are being absorbed except red only red appears to be like red the remaining other vibrio colors observed through red glass they are observed as if all of them are absorbed they won't appear to be with that color violet is there seen through red glass violet won't appears like violet yellow is there seen through red glass okay then yellow won't appear like yellow when it is being seen through red glass okay that's why uh, certain every color is having its own importance based on its reflection based on its wavelength okay so absorption spectrum means red uh, red uh, light observed through red glass only appears to be red the remaining colors gets absorbed okay that you can take it as absorption spectrum now fourth one is what absorption band spectrum please understand this point also carefully absorption band spectrum absorption band spectrum very important point suppose uh, in the name itself it is there okay some of the wavelengths of lights are being absorbed and band spectrum appears when the substance which you have taken is in molecular state okay uh, the transmitted light analyzed through spectrometer okay if made to pass through a, a substance which is in molecular state band means what obtained from the substance obtained from the substance in molecular state okay now or compound state substance in molecular state a substance in molecular state or what we call a uh, compound is in the form of a compound okay for this best example is uh, the solution of potassium permanganate potassium permanganate you all know okay you can see in the picture it appears to be like a uh, dark purple colored solution okay this dark purple colored solution when you are projecting a uh, what we call a torch light and if you observe that dark purple colored solution it appears to be dark green instead of dark purple it appears to be dark green it is in compound state okay it is in compound state okay so when uh, analyzed uh, when transmitted light coming out of kmno4 if it is analyzed through spectrometer okay you will observe that you will find you will find five bands in green region five bands in green region of that uh, spectrometer in green region means out of all vibrior colors in green region only you will find five bands okay now absorption bands you call them as absorption bands okay that means here uh, some of the colors are being absorbed and only five bands are being appeared in green region okay okay that means uh, actually the green color the absorbed color is what green okay the absorbed color is green in place of that you are finding five dark bands okay in green region only you are finding the remaining all colors remains to be the same only okay so this is an example for what absorption band spectrum okay and the color of certain salts you can write one note point also the color of certain salts suppose just now i was telling you potassium permanganate kmno4 is purple color deep purple color okay Uh, and uh, you all know that potassium dichromate is orange colored the color of the salts okay why certain salts exhibit certain colors okay copper sulfate you all know cuso4 appears to be blue okay and um, what we call kmno4 okay kmno4 appears to be deep 
deep violet or purple deep violet or purple color okay and then uh, potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 uh, appears to be orange in color okay the color of the salts is also based on the uh, spectrum only okay now this color is because of another type of spectrum which is called as charge transfer okay this is the colors exhibited by these salts are also due to spectrum only okay what type of spectrum you call it as it is spectrum obtained due to charge transfer spectrum obtained due to obtained due to charge transfer okay what is charge transfer okay charge transfer here um, a little bit uh, actually the topic gets diverted here okay charge transfer will happen for the central atom which is there in all these salts okay depending on the number of unpaired electrons present in that central atom okay the color can be exhibited by that salt here the color of copper sulfate become is blue because of copper ion only because of copper ion okay now charge transfer happens and uh, uh, its complementary color gets absorbed okay and that's why it is appearing to be blue here you have to uh, know about complementary colors also please understand carefully complementary colors for that color wheel is there okay color wheel for that color wheel is there okay see here you will be drawing a, um, a wheel like this okay so here violet red orange okay violet red and orange are being drawn in one side and blue green yellow indigo is neglected please remember blue green and yellow are being drawn on one side here complementary colors i'm using the word if a substance is appearing yellow means the color absorbed is violet okay please understand carefully they are complementary to each other right if the substance is appearing blue here copper sulfate is appearing blue that means the color absorbed due to charge transfer is what orange color the color that is absorbed due to charge transfer of copper the color absorbed is orange that's why absorbed color if it is orange the salt color will be blue okay same like that here central atom is manganese manganese uh, here giving deep violet deep violet okay deep violet uh, here uh, shades are also there okay if it is deep violet it goes to green only okay means complementary color will become green please understand the point carefully okay actually complementary color for normal violet it is yellow if it is very deep violet because potassium permanganate is appearing too deep okay so its complementary color goes to be green okay so green is absorbed and that's why the color of the salt is appearing to be violet please understand points carefully that's why in kmno4 in band spectrum what i told five bands in green region dark bands appeared in green region that means absorbed color is green the salt appearing in violet color actually if it is light violet it should be yellow if it is deep violet it will become green please understand this point carefully similarly potassium dichromate also k2cr2o7 appears to be orange in color so the absorbed wavelength is blue here central atom is chromium okay now charge transfer happens in chromium so because of charge transfer absorbed wavelength is of blue light and that's why the salt appears to be orange in color okay salt appears to be orange in color and absorbed wavelength is blue colored because of charge transfer okay you'll be learning about this in the uh, d block elements colors of salts and all everything okay so mainly you have to understand these points in this way right so this is all about uh, spectra different types of spectra very colorful uh, video we i wanted to make okay 
so i have tried my best to make you to understand uh, the different types of spectrum so please keep learning happy learning please share my videos and uh, kindly subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye